Do you need glutathione to heal and get your energy back? On this episode, I'm going to share with you who needs to take glutathione, what's the best way to take it, and how it's actually going to increase your energy production. You're watching the Dr. Jake Podcast. I'm Dr. Jake. I'm a naturopathic medical doctor and integrated physician in Salt Lake City, Utah. On this channel, I share with you how you can heal your body and get your energy back without any harmful drugs or surgery. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. I recently filmed a podcast with my co-host, Teresa Marie, in which we talked about glutathione and how good it was with increasing energy production. Make sure you stick around till the end because we're going to talk about who's the best people to take glutathione. Glutathione is an all-natural product. Uh, it's what our body naturally makes itself. Uh, it's made out of three different amino acids. It's made out of cysteine, glutamic acid, and glycine. So we take these, we get these little amino acids into our body by eating them through food, and then our body will make these amino acids into what's called glutathione. Glutathione is our master antioxidant in our body. So if you talk about antioxidants, we talk about blueberries or uh, various acai, or various other things that we take for the antioxidant effect. Glutathione is so much more powerful than any of these that we have in our body. So it's our master antioxidant, and it's going to decrease reactive oxygen species throughout our body. Reactive oxygen species causes damage throughout our entire body. So when glutathione will help scavenge up all those reactive oxygen species and take them away and decrease that damage that is happening throughout our body. It also is really great and increasing our detoxification within our cells. So pulling out all that gunk that can happen when just living life and also improve the detoxification of our organs. So liver, kidneys, gut, et cetera, will be improved when with the glutathione production and we decrease glutathione as we age. So that's why a lot of people, you talk about it with the skin products or uh, anti-aging effects, because it, when we take the glutathione, we're decreasing these effects because we decrease glutathione as we age. A lot of the effects of aging are caused by decreased glutathione production. So it makes you feel tired because it does so many different things for our body. One big thing is it, like we, like I talked about, it scavenged up the reactive oxygen species. It is our main protector of our mitochondria within our cells. And I know I talk a ton about mitochondria. If you watch this uh, podcast a lot, I talk about it, but it's a major thing of how our body works is throughout our mitochondria. Every cell depends upon. It. So glutathione will scavenge up these reactive oxygen species and protect our mitochondria from getting damaged. So if you're low in glutathione, you're going to have more trauma to your mitochondria. It's not going to work as well. It's not going to make energy as well. So you're going to be tired all the time because you're not making good energy because of that. Also, if you're low in glutathione, you're not going to be detoxing as well. So whatever gunk that you're putting in your body from what you're breathing, the stuff you're putting on your body, what you're eating, et cetera, you're not going to be able to eliminate that very well. Also, our body just goes through a lot of detoxification and we need to eliminate waste products from using energy production. And we're not going to do that effectively without glutathione production. So we need glutathione to be able to eliminate these toxic substances that are forming inside our cells. And also we need glutathione for our detoxification organs to work effectively. Like we, we talk a lot about the liver. That's one of our major detoxers. We have tons of glutathione in there because we need to be able to detox very well when we're using our liver, because that's our major detoxification organ. We also need have a lot of glutathione in our kidneys because we need that to detox. But let's say you're low in glutathione, like as you age, or you get chronically ill, or you have a lot of stress, all these things can decrease our glutathione production. You're not going to be able to cellularly detox very well. Your organs aren't going to detox very well. And then your mitochondria is going to get damaged. You're not going to make good energy production. Now, I don't always prescribe it for my elderly patients. If they're feeling great, I'm not going to do that. There's a lot of things that we can do to increase our own glutathione production. Like if you are exercising and eating good and making sure your uh, organs are working appropriately, you're going to have pretty decent amounts. But yeah, if you want to really be optimal when you're older, I do give it to uh, patients to, uh, that are older uh, glutathione. Uh, I use it most of the time in my office for people that are chronically ill. Obviously, I'm a doctor. People are coming to me when they feel sick. Uh, I do see people that are not necessarily sick that want to prevent disease, but most of the time they're usually sick. And like we talked about, when you get sick, you decrease your glutathione production. 
and everything's not going to work appropriately. So I prescribe it for people that have autoimmune diseases, chronic fatigue syndromes, chronic infections, especially for neurological diseases. Glutathione is really good on healing up the nervous system, like an Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, traumatic brain injury, et cetera. So that's just a few examples of the patients that I actually use glutathione therapy for. So you can take glutathione orally. So like through a supplement, you could take that. You want to make sure that it's probably in a liposomal form because glutathione gets broken down very easily inside our gut. So our body's really good on breaking down amino acids, right? So glutathione is just three amino acids. It's going to break it up into its individual amino acids that's going to get into our body. And that's not necessarily going to, those amino acids aren't necessarily going to be used for glutathione. They're used for all kinds of things throughout the body. So if they get broken down, you might get a little bit glutathione in there, but probably very little. So, but if it's in liposomal form, it's going to bypass a lot of our digestive mechanisms and it's going to go right, get absorbed right through our lacteals inside our stomach. And it's going to get absorbed more readily there. Now, if we want a really potent way of getting glutathione in our body, my favorite way is to do it IV. You're going to get a hundred, a thousand times more effect if you're doing an IV compared to doing it orally. Yeah, so it depends on what we're treating and what condition we're treating. Uh, probably on average for someone that's dealing with a chronic autoimmune condition or things similar to that, we are doing it for uh, eight sessions typically. Uh, so we do IV nutrient therapy with glutathione once a week for eight weeks. Um, for patients that are ne not necessarily have a chronic illness, they just are doing it for anti-aging purposes and just to feel good. We do a treatment every one to four weeks or one, one treatment every two months, just depending on the individual and how much they want to come in and how good they want to feel. But usually probably on average, it's uh, every four weeks we do that for people that want the anti-aging effects. We want to make sure that we don't have a poorly functioning uh, liver. A lot of our glutathione production can come from our liver. So we want to keep our livers happy. So you want to make sure you eat a clean diet. The cleaner diet you have, the more less stress you put on your liver. You want to make sure you don't put as many chemicals into your body. Those are some big ones to help uh, increase our glutathione production and keep it strong. But really, it's really hard not to keep on aging. Uh, so it does decrease on everyone, even if if you're an extremely healthy person. So to get the full benefits of glutathione, you should take it. But those are some of the, some, a few examples to make it yourself. So let's say you are a healthy individual and you're just doing it for anti-aging purposes. You're going to feel fantastic after doing glutathione. But let's say you're a really sick person and your cells aren't working very well. And you're not, you haven't been able to detox these, this gunk out of your cells very well for a long time. When you do it, you could feel kind of uh, tired and weak for a little bit because of the die off reaction that can happen or the detox reaction that happens there. That can happen the first couple of treatments of like if we do an IV or something, uh, you can notice it for maybe a week or two when you're doing oral and then that usually clears up uh, over time. If you wanna learn more about glutathione or other topics like this one, click my video to the right. I'm Dr. Jake and I'll see you there.